Happy Memorial Day, traders. It is Monday, May 25th. It's in the evening. I thought I'd take a look at what the market's doing overseas. We've got the S&P 500 currently indicated about 36 points higher. You can take a look at the chart here from last week. Let's get our bearings. We had a three-day weekend. Friday was pretty slow. We're going to have a little bit of a holiday hangover tomorrow, Tuesday, so the action should be pretty light. But looks like the futures are going to be moving higher. There's some optimism on a coronavirus vaccine. We're also seeing lots of economies get back on track here in the States. A lot of states are starting to phase in their recovery. We're also seeing that on a global basis, just based on what I witnessed personally this weekend. People really seem ready to get back on track. So I think that's going to fuel some optimism. You can see how the market was trying to break out through this horizontal resistance level right here at SPY 295 last week. And it was trying to get through that 100-day moving average, bumped up, bumped up, bumped up against it, just couldn't quite get through it. But... If we get that type of move Tuesday morning on the open, a 36-point rally will take us right through the 100-day moving average and we'll be challenging the 200-day moving average in no time. So I want to focus on bullish trades. If you watch my weekly swing trading video that I posted Sunday to the public, there are four good trades that we haven't been able to get in on yet, but I like all four of those candidates. I'm going to take a look and see what I can find for Tuesday morning right now. And so I thought I would conduct a search. Let's first focus on the market. Again, I feel that the market is going to gradually grind higher. We still need some clarity. We don't know how robust the recovery is going to be or how long it's going to take. So that's going to maybe require two or three more, four more weeks until we really start to see how things are, are panning out. So we need to be neutral to slightly bullish. We don't want to be aggressively bullish right now because we don't know how things are going to play out. We want to make sure that we're selling out of the money bullish put spreads. This strategy allows us to distance ourselves from the action and we can take advantage of time decay and a collapse in implied volatility. As the market just sits here, the option implied volatilities start to come in and come in. And you can see that we really haven't gone very far over the course of the last two months. We've got support there at SPY 272. We had resistance at SPY 295. We're trying to get through that upper end. So we've got to play it pretty safe, but I do have a bullish bias right now. So we're going to be looking for bullish trades. I went into Option Stalker. I clicked Custom Search, brought up the Custom Search Engine, and... Here you can see that we've got a number of different candidates that came up, but not that many. So the criteria that I use when I'm looking for option liquidity greater than zero, 15 being the max. So we're looking for good option liquidity. We're also looking for a stock that announced earnings last week. I want to see some good earnings reactions because we want to ride that wave. So I also wanted to find stocks that had relative strength versus the S&P 500 and that we're on a trade signal on a daily basis and on a four hour basis. So there you can see the relative strength has been marked on a four hour basis and a daily basis. So just to recap this search, because this is something that option stalker members can run, I want to have a trade signal on a four hour basis and on a daily basis. So we've got multiple time frames and I want to see relative strength also on a four hour basis and on a daily basis. And I want good option liquidity and I want to make sure that that company just recently announced because I want to see that positive earnings reaction. I want to ride that momentum. And I'm still going to be selling out of the money bullish put spread. So even though I'm expecting the stock to go higher, I want to have a safety net. I want to have a little cushion in case we get a little bit of bad news here or there and the market pulls back. I'm not having to worry about the position. If the market just stalls out and sits here, that's okay too. Because time decay is my friend with this strategy. So let's take a quick look at these stocks. I'm just going to click through the list. There you can see BJ, beautiful. We've been on this the last two days in the day trading room. And you can see here how it broke through horizontal resistance on a huge earnings release. And it was moving higher the entire day. And then Friday, another big move. It's too far out of the gate. I can't trade that. I would have to try and sell a bullish put spread down along that, around that $31 level. There's not going to be any premium there. Too far out of the gate. EXPE. Travel stock, not a convincing breakout here. We needed to get above that 100-day moving average. You can see the A there. That means earnings after the close. 
big volume. That's all nice, but we need to be able to get through that 100-day moving average. Stock was not able to. FRO, nothing too interesting going on there. I need to see better weakness. LB, you can see a little bit of a horizontal breakout right here, but still overhead resistance. Nah, nothing going there either. LOW, very nice. We've got these major moving averages right here that we can lean on and right at that uh, 108 level, but with the stock at 122, too far out of the gate. We could come in here around the 116, 115 level on the notion that that support level right there, that's the breakout. Now it's support that that support would hold. Probably have to do something like a 115, 112.50 bullish put spread. That certainly could work. Still not my favorite. NVIDIA. NVIDIA, beautiful horizontal breakout here through resistance, making a new all-time high, long green candle, earnings after the close right there, able to hold that gap higher. I like selling it out of the money bullish put spread, keying off that 340 level on NVIDIA. There's support right in there. I believe that support is going to hold. And I'd like to try and do one that expires this week. So we're going to go with the May 29th expiration. Let's see what kind of option premiums we've got. I'm going to click trade. And I'm going to pop up the option chain window here. And we're going to go into the May 29th expiration date. I'm going to scroll down to that 340 put. And let's take a look and see what those are trading for. Again, these are going to expire in four days. So the stock is going to have to, we're going to have to get filled on this right out of the gate Tuesday morning. Because time premium is already going to be working against this position, meaning it's going to be pretty hard for us to get it done on Tuesday morning, but there's a chance. We might as well try. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to click on the 340 put. I'm going to click on the 337.50 put. I typically like to get 50 cents for a credit when I have two and a half dollars between the strike prices, but given that there are only four days of life to this trade, I'm going to say let's try and get a 40 cent credit. That would certainly still produce a really nice return somewhere in the neighborhood of 20% in the next four days if this uh, spread expires worthless. And look, the stock's at 361. So we've got about 20 points of cushion in this. And the stock would have to come back and take out that support, which was tested one, two, three times. We would have to take out that support. We had a little bit of weakness Thursday and Friday. Stock was able to hold the bid. I love all that. So I think that this stock is going to be able to hold that gap, and it's certainly going to be able to hold the 340 price. So we're going to sell the May 29th NVIDIA 340 puts. We're going to buy the NVIDIA May 29th 337.50 puts. And we're going to try and do this spread for a credit of 40 cents. So let me move that up right here. And we're going to be doing a 40 cent credit on this. And I've got one contract loaded, GTC. I'm going to stage that order so that everybody can see that. If you're an option stalker member, you just click trade, go into staged orders. You'll see that order sitting right there for you. So we'll click on staged. And if I go down to the bottom, you'll see it. All you have to do is click submit. And that order will be routed to your broker, provided that you use Interactive Brokers, Ameritrade, or Tradier. So that's the trade for this week that I really like. Let's take a look at the other stocks. And you can see how effective this search was. Beautiful horizontal breakout on RRR. Stock had nice momentum after that. I would like to see a little bit more momentum and a little bit better price action. This is a laggard. We'll go into SE. Beautiful price action, horizontal resistance right there. Big breakout, continuation. This stock certainly wants to go higher. So another nice candidate. Finally, SPLK. Look at that breakout to a new relative high above 175. You could certainly try and key off that 175 level. I'd prefer to wait for a bit of a pullback and try and use that 165 level because it's inside of that breakout. So I've got a little additional cushion on it, but really nice breakout on SPLK. I'm going to be watching this stock Tuesday to see if there might be a day trading opportunity for us. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Then I know I'm doing something right. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on your notifications because that way you'll get every single one of these videos and I never know when I'm going to be putting them up. If I see something I like, I'm going to post a video. Here we are on a Monday night after a long holiday. Who would have thought I'd do a video? 
So please subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those notifications because I'll always have actionable trade ideas in each one of them. I'll also give you lots of educational content as well. But remember, market first, market first, market first. Every trade that we do, the first thing we have to do is we have to get the market right. And right now, my bias is neutral to slightly bullish on the market, so we have to find a strategy that matches that. Now, we found some stocks with really good upward momentum that recently had earnings. I'm expecting that momentum to continue and for the stock to continue to grind higher. Let's see if we can get that NVIDIA trade done on Tuesday morning. By the way, if you can't get that trade done Tuesday, can it? No good. We don't want to get filled on that after Tuesday because that means that the stock is pulling back and that we're having to get closer and closer to the money to get filled on it. This is kind of a one and done. We either get it done tomorrow and then we take a pass on it or you know, we keep moving on and looking. So make sure you cancel that order if you're not filled on it Tuesday. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the morning. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.